So much tweeting. Hello. Oh, look at this hair. <laughs> Hi. First comment for the win, says Catch33. Welcome, way Wait, wait, way L? Way L? I? Hi. And Mr. Brego as well. Welcome. Mm. So yesterday I had to skip uh, evening stream. My apologies, there was... Um, uh, oh man, our daughter had had a rough e afternoon and we were like... And I was like... So I went to bed early to have a good morning start. Uh, to kind of catch up with my uh, sleep, sleep depth. And then I woke up in the morning, relaxed, and I was like, yeah, everything's swine, fine. Everything is swine. <laughs> and then I took another nap in the morning. <laughs> so I'm really... <laughs> and then just drinking the third coffee now. So like, woo! Wild. Wild AI. Wild AI. Oh, got it. Yeah, so um, yeah, yesterday afternoon was, was rough, rough. Rough little three-year-old keeping us, like it's kind of shocking that such a tiny little being can be uh, so destructive to two uh, adult people. <laughs> you wouldn't think that a, such a small being would be like such a big problem. I could probably beat her in a boxing match, but that would also defeat myself. Um, yeah, I've been doing some research on the um, on the newest update because I want to. At some point, I want to do also a video about about the changes that have been made in a very very old version 2.5 now. And uh, I noticed that there was some kind of information about the upcoming feature of scores, um, scoreboards, mm, and so that's some information that I want to at some point talk about maybe a little bit, but not today, not now. Today we are working on um, the. Uh, on the shapes. See, there was some talk. There was some talk on the Discord, and somebody on Discord suggested or asked, "What if I made? Um, what if in this screen, uh, all of the dots were just pre-made levels?" Hey, Beetroot Paul! Woo! Hi! First time chat. Nice. How are you doing, Beetroot Paul? Um, so, so yeah, somebody suggested, like, what if the, the, it was just levels, you know, just like pre-made levels that I custom made. Um, and I thought about this initially. Um, the reason why I'm not immediately went for it is that um, I would have to make the levels, and making the levels might be tough. Mm. And I definitely wanted to have the option to like um, just play a random game, so not to have like pre-made levels, just to like generate a new, like shuffle the deck and just deal the new cards, like you do usually with solitaire. So the pre-made levels kind of like co collided with this, and also I would have to make the levels. And there's like two ways: either I make like custom levels, and that seems like a whole can of worms. Like you have to like make a level editor, you have to make the actual levels. It has to be a lot of levels because they're, the puzzles are very short. So that was like, okay, let's not go there. Um, something I could do is to make um, the levels here, basic curated um, curated um, seeds. I, key is wrong, this should be seed. So I just like play the game a little bit with uh, uh, random levels and then save the levels that I um, that were beatable and save the levels and maybe rate them according to like the difficulty. Um, and then, you know, I pick my best, you know, 30 or so. And then I would I would arrange them in like this, this in this, this level screen. And then you, you have to play through the 30 or so. And then that's gonna be it. Um, that's cool, but then still I would have to arrange the list, right? I would still have to arrange the list and I'm not sure if um, my subjective impression of how hard the levels are, um, of how accurate that would be. Um, I think uh, depending on your first decision in, in the solitaire game, um, some levels might be really seem simple, but then you, when you try it again or somebody else tries it and tries a different approach, it, they get stuck and 
I, I think there's a huge variance on how you perceive a certain board layout to be, how hard you perceive a certain board layout to be. So um, yeah, these were all the reasons why I didn't want to have, or initially didn't, didn't think of having it uh, like pre-made levels. But the more I think about it, because I'm kind of like struggling with this screen anyway. I was like looking through like, the last couple of days we were just working on this screen, right? Um, but the more I think about it, it might be actually worthwhile doing something like this because this screen looks like, you know, this is kind of like a bespoke path, right? Like this is, this doesn't look like a history so much as a path to somewhere. So it makes sense, like it, it said, instead of fighting against the impression that we're getting from this screen, it would make sense to just make the screen work the way people probably think it will work. Uh, this being just like a, you know, campaign. So basically, or like a mission select screen. Um, but if I do it like this, this is gonna be something after the a Game Bytes cover jam. I probably won't make it until next week because there's just like five days left <laughs> and I probably won't make it. And especially since I today evening, there's not gonna be a stream and tomorrow there's not gonna be any streaming at all. Uh, so I, I lose another day, one and a half days. Um, so, uh, I probably that's not something that I can finish until um, the game gym is over. But I do plan continue working on this in next month in December. Um, so maybe that's going to be a, a kind of like a post-release kind of thing where we're going to create the mission mode, and that's going to be the mission mode, right? And before the mission mode, we're going to have something else. That's my thinking. Um, yeah, but if we have, if you turn this into kind of like a mission mode, then we probably need to, on the start screen, probably there's going to be a third button um, saying, um, you know, random or, or, you know, quick game or something. And instead of start, it's going to be like missions or, yeah, or campaign. Um, And also, if I have a campaign, I will also probably think about um, adding, not just like changing the board layout, but also maybe adding new elements, new, new pieces maybe, or maybe new rules, maybe different decks of cards that you have to play with. And again, that's something that I have to just, I just have to play the game a bunch and, and do experiments. And probably that's not something I will do on, on the stream. That's something I have to like sit down and, and just play a bunch of stuff. And that's not necessarily Streamable. To do different colors on the G stats. Oh yeah, uh, cancel drag. Oh yeah, cancel on drop of source. Oh yeah, implement undo. Okay, these are. We are getting away from the UI stuff, which I'm happy about. There's one more UI stuff I want to do, and this is kind of like we want to change the color up. Uh, set bright. There's a problem that, again, I will have to, at the beginning of December, I probably will have to go uh, to the hospital and spend three days there or so. Maybe I can do it in hospital, depending on how I feel. It's kind of nice. It's kind of like bad because I'm in the hospital, so. But also, I would have a lot of time probably there, and like uninterrupted. <laughs> there is no child or anything. I don't have to cook or go shopping. <laughs> oh, hey doctor, I'm feeling still so sick. Can I stay until the end of the week? <laughs> oh, by the way, what's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> Can you give me some priority bandwidth? Okay, this is, I say dirty output because they yeah, added definitely something that we can fix 
can improve upon. So I wanted to turn this gr dark gray, which probably we're not going to use, which is this five gray. I want to turn this into 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 um, which one is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven. Like this. Let's try that. Oops, not the right one. What? It wasn't seven. Oh, it was six. Yes. So that's good. Um, that's good for now. That's good maybe for the version um, to you know submit to the jam. But um, yeah, for now let's let's think about the other things we have to do. Okay, cancel drag. So the idea was that if you are dragging something and you press the cancel button, then it will just cancel the dragging. here oops that's not right um shift o yeah and then um so we are going to just yeah, mouse more definitely uh yeah yeah uh, if we are gonna say if in there then I want to UPD level uh, it's gameplay stuff uh, Star Trek stop Trek SX right so I want to do a uh, stop Trek SX and SX uh, is gonna be Drag SRC. Like that, like this. So we're gonna play, start dragging, and if I press cancel, nothing happens. The wrong <laughs> and the wrong update function. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! There is there is the update function. That's that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing, guys. Okay. <clears throat> did not like I did not like how um yeah it said H right That H equals false. Interesting. 
for a second, yeah, we saw that before. Like for a second, th there's scrolling happening. I'm not sure why. I guess because the mouse is so far down. But then why doesn't it do that when... It's weird how it goes left and so fast left and then up. Why? Because when I drag it, it's no problem. Oh, wait. If I put something in there, it's no problem. It just jumps back. Both cases we're using the same. Hi, chat. Hi, Herr Gilbert. I hope you're having a great time. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, definitely, definitely have had enough sleep. Finally. Uh, this is this is confusing to me. I don't know why this is happening. Let's put it on the list. Jerk on cancel. So yeah, putting something in, it's fine. Nothing happens. And then if I run this again. Oh, I know what the problem could be. For here, it's like, woo. Hello, I'm new to the channel. What are you working on? I am, hey, name of Vicky. Nima VK. VK. <laughs> uh, I'm working on a Solitaire game. It's called Shapes of Mind. Let's uh, make it PQ8. And it's a game about stacking symbols. Right now, there's not a lot of symbols because this, this, is a, this is a kind of like a test level, but uh, eventually you will have plenty of symbols. You have to stack them somehow and put them in the halo. Again, <laughs> down there is some debugging stuff. And then you complete the halos. And if you complete three halos, you win, win the level. That's how it works. Uh, this is uh, a fantasy console called Pico 8. And the programming language here is Lua. Um, okay, I think I know what why, why the jerk on, on cancel is happening. It is happening because um, the scrolling uh, depends on the Y position of the final card in each of the columns. But if we are dragging and cancel, then that card uh, that we're dragging, that is now floating in space down there. And so when so the game thinks, oh, we're having a very, very, very tall uh, column. I guess we need to scroll down to, to see the card down there. So we kind of have to ignore cards that are being dragged. Yeah, it's very fun. Pico 8 is very fun if you haven't um, uh, heard about it. It's a very, very fun, breezy, very limited, but also uh, I think the Everybody in, in the community agrees that this is the cozy programming <laughs> environment. It's very, very cozy. Uh, it's, it's very limited, but it's fun to bump against limitations and it does good stuff um, to your programming skills because you kind of have to maneuver against around, around the limitations. But most importantly, it does good things to your design skills because you just can't make your sprawling open world 3D massive multiplayer RPG. It's just not possible. Then you have to kind of figure out how to, how to make it work with the limitations that are there. That's my pitch. Okay, um, so I think the problem is here. Mouse button, calculate cursor position, a moving halo. There, calculating maxed column, right? 
See, there's dy. Oh, but it says dy. We don't have it. Oh, it's still happening. Never mind. Wow. Huh, so so okay, I was wrong. This is not this is not where the problem is coming from. Wait, does, does it happen when I happen here okay wait 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 I want, that's something I want to see yeah it doesn't happen here it just happens in the, with the, when I'm using the, the keyboard okay I'm still thinking it's it's, it's associated with the moving dragged cards um, so I guess it's the I think the, the problem is scroll. D scroll, in specific. Let's just uh, print D scroll and see what 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 happens to D scroll. Draw. Um, debug. Just give me a, give me an update. What what D scroll is doing all this time? Nothing. Cancel. See, D scroll goes up. That's the problem. D scroll goes up, and then we don't want it to go up. Uh, let's just let's bring it back in here so we can see. Okay, so which D scroll? equals oops d scroll equals okay hd scroll i don't care okay i think this is the problem let me see what else is happening are the problems here. I'm gonna remove this, let's see what happens. Yeah, now, it, now it's fine. But you see how, how the cursor makes like this weird whoop, whoop? You see that? Why? Why does it like bloop? And also it's about cur dy, so I'm not sure what the... Is cur dy not... That's, that's just so confusing, you know? Ah. Ah, 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 I see. Yeah, yeah, I see. So, cur dy is, is not good. Cur dy. I think that's the problem. Uh, cur dy. See this, um, we need to put it on dy. I think that will be better. Yeah, see now, now it works. Now we don't get the jump. 
and also the cursor flies better now. So the problem was, um, the, the, the idea I had was correct, it just like uh, affected something else. Um, we drag the card to the halo. And then we, when we let the card go, we say like cancel, the cards would sty fly back to the position where it's supposed to go. Um, and the cursor um, was also supposed to go where it's supposed to, like also supposed to go where the card is supposed to go. But we made it the cursor follow the card and the card was in the, in the process of being animated. So the cursor would just go sideways because the card is right here and would just like follow the card. And then the scrolling was attached to the cursor as well. <laughs> so the cursor would just linger at the bottom of the screen for a while. And the, the, the scrolling would go, whoa, the cursor down there, or let's go down there. And the cursor would then fly up and then the scrolling would go up. So the scrolling would jerk really quickly because the cursor lingers for a couple of frames at the bottom of the screen. Um, and not just lingers there, but actually was instructed to go to a position at the bottom of the screen. Um, so we fix this by making the cursor go to not to where the card is, but to where the card is being animated towards. And that also um, fixed the, the cursor's trajectory and also removed the, the uh, stupid jerkiness. Okay. One of those bugs, right? Jerk on cancel. There we go. Um, we have cancel drag. Cancel on drop of source. So the idea here is that when we are dropping um, the heap where we had dragged it from that this counts as a cancel and not as a um, not as a movement um, so we're just going to sort it by or sx equals drag src because this is the, the, the kind of like the cancel uh, if statement. So if sx is zero or sx is, uh, or we are supposed to dragging to where it was or blah, 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 blah. And uh, it's kind of like the same, but like if, like if this is the case, then we technically don't have to execute this, but um, maybe we're gonna have some jerk cancel. That's right, canceling the jerks, like in real life. Um, <laughs> and then they complain, ah, I'm getting canceled, free speech. Um, yeah, um, so maybe here we're going to count up how many moves you made and then if you cancelled a movement then that shouldn't count as a movement because that's undoing stuff. Okay, now let's try this. Uh, actually, I want to I hear the sound for this. Let's, let's, pause, the, let's pause the music. Oops. No. Oh. Uh, control M. Yeah. You get the cancel sound. This is cancel. This is cancel. But also, this is also cancel. Maybe the cancel sound is a bit too harsh, but um, but yeah, something to think about in the future. Um, implement undo. Okay, so this is now the part where we do the undo. Mm. I'm gonna go function save undo. And I'm gonna again go function undo. Um, so save undo will save an undo step and undo will undo an undo step. Uh, and then this is gonna be undo. It would 
be also nice if we could um, show how many undo steps there are here. Um, and we can do that. I'm going to update this. Okay, um, but for now, a start game. We're gonna call this undo lib. Owning the up to lips. The under lips of TikTok. What do we have to save with the undo? Also, by, by the way, um, once we're here, we also should be maybe also just steps. Uh, we're gonna save also the steps. So generally, when we save the undo, we're gonna also increase the steps. And when we uh, decrease the undo, then we're gonna decrease the steps. Uh, and that's gonna be like a convenient way of doing this. I think that's that's how it works. Um, it's a stack, basically. Yeah. Just writing down how many, how many yeah, and when we undo, we also want to update the number of and here it's gonna go if undo it's it's kind of bad. I don't think you can gray out menu items. that's kind of a bit awkward. Um, and I want to always have an undo there. So when you pull up the menu and there is no undo steps, you at least know that there should be an undo step. Yeah, there is an undo step, but you cannot cancel it right now. So if hashtag undo lib uh, equals zero, then return. Okay. Um, okay. When we save the undo, we basically want to just like copy all of these heaps and the contents of the the halo. We want to copy them into a format. The question is whether we want to write them down and maybe like string and then unpack it later. Or if you just want to just duplicate the, the items. I think just duplicating the items would be just easier. Yeah, because when we then bring them back, we can just write them immediately without actually having to copy. Okay, so let's go for I. And I always using the for next loop because I want to preserve the I want to preserve the order because the for and all technically doesn't doesn't guarantee that the order is preserved. And also want to have the index maybe. Is it heap? Yeah, heap. So we're looping through all of the heaps. U equals this. H equals 
this. And then at the end, I'm gonna go add U U H. Yeah, maybe. We can, if we need the tokens, we can, we can change some of the things back. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna go four. J equals one, two. Local LME equals heap, <coughs> square brackets, I. Or J equals one to hashtag LME. And then, hey, Snowja! Woo! And then we're gonna go add UH copy card. Um, one day more. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, it's not too long anymore, and that's actually stressing me out a little bit. Uh, it's definitely not going to complete uh, the game w uh, when the game journey is finished. The question is like, what state will it be in? That's what we're fighting for. Um, so yeah, again, on Sunday, I probably might be able to get a stream in quite early in the morning and hopefully long. Uh, and Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I think Wednesday is the final day, right? Let me check. Yeah, Wednesday is the final day. Um, actually, I think Thursday is the final day, technically. Let me, let me check it out. A day, a gem, a, a, a game, <laughs> a day by his cover, I know. Game, but it's got 2022. So it's five days. Yeah, on October the 15th. Um, I don't know, for December the 1st, 2022. Uh, oh, yeah, so December the 1st at 12.59 a.m. UTC. What is UTC? What is UTC now? Okay, 11.43 is right now. So that's one hour below. So I guess on, on the 1st of December, so that's gonna be Thursday, we can still do like a early morning stream. Yeah. We can probably start streaming like, like you know, at eight o'clock and then do the final submission on that day. And probably that's where I will create like a very, very basic website for it. So the, basically the goal is to make the game finish on Thursday, on Wednesday. And then I do the final submission on Thursday. And then we have maybe, yeah, maybe we still have Thursday and Friday. No, Friday I won't, won't probably be able to stream. Or well, maybe in the evening, because Friday evening I can stream. Friday morning I already have to go uh, for some checkup onto the hospital. Uh, oh yeah, and on the weekend, I can probably stream a lot on the next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. I can stream a lot because I will be alone. Uh, okay, so we're saving the coffee in the car. We don't have the coffee cart function yet, but uh, that's coming up. Uh, okay. Something like this. Oh yeah, and then we have to do the same thing. with 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 the halo is it just called halo yeah halo
and then we're gonna go underlip add underlip you right something like this and then we're gonna that's at the end we're gonna add things to the underlip Now we're going to change the menu item because then we know how many under, under steps there are. Okay, and then, okay, so let's do a copy card. Let's put it in a tool function. Do we have the copy card somewhere? It's here the local CPI. Return CPI. Um, there is actually, we could technically use maybe like a universal copy function. Might be worth it. I've seen them, I've used them before. Lua. Um, Function duplicate table. Oh, you can that do that? No, the unpack is not. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's go. Eco eight. There we go. The only problem with that is, is um, we have like multi-dimensional stuff, but that already kind of helps maybe. So they do say, this is a naive implementation. Do we have a type? Do we have a type function? Oh, we do have a type function. Oh, we can now use the help function. Haha, <laughs> help type. Return the type of a variable V as a string. Nil, green table. Oh, that's cool, that's cool, okay. So we can use this thing. Here's a simple recursive implementation that additionally handles meta table. Oh, I don't want to have meta tables. Let's try this one. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't want to mess around with this. I kind of like, I'm fine with what, what the person suggested there. Where, where was it? That's not, that's, we don't exactly the arrangement of that table, so why copying table or trying There we go. No, that's not the right one. How to clone tables, there we go. This was fine. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, Oak Reef, for your code snippet. I think that helps a lot here. Um, So this is how we're gonna copy the individual cards. No, no, actually that's that's just a card, right? It's it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's all we want. We just want to have to copy the cards. We don't want to copy everything. Although that other function that we had, we could have probably also copied everything. 
No, we couldn't because we are um, pulling from different arrays into one. Okay. That's it, right? Okay, so we have the copy card now. Gameplay copy card. Okay, so now we just have to undo this process. Do 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 do. The fun thing about the undo is we d we don't have to copy. We can just like move them into into it. So yeah. So we're gonna go heap. Um. Um, and we can go heap i equals, oh yeah, uh, local u equals undo lib. We have the last function, right? Beatrut Paul, we'll have to go. Bye. Probably will watch the video on YouTube later. Sure, sure. Have a nice day, Beatrut Paul. Uh, what was Del I Pico eight? Does Del I just read the last entry? Okay. Yeah, Del I just. Removes the last entry, so we can just go del i undo lib. Um, that also deletes it, so we don't have to do it later on. And so heap one equals u one, and then halo equals u uh, last. Oh, actually, we can do it even easier. We can go halo equals last uh, del e, del e uh, u, and then the rest is gonna just gonna be u. That's gonna be that we can save the the for next loop. See, this is a lot of code, but then this is an, a very easy. So that's kind of nice. heaps do again. I think that was important, but I'm not sure what, what it was doing. Oops. Oh yeah, puts the heaps in the right order. Yeah, that's okay. So we can call them here. I'm not sure if it's necessary. Oh, yeah, we definitely will mark the undo as uh, something that probably can do, be optimized. Um, okay. okay, now the only thing that's left to do is now we just have to save the undos at the right moments. So let's do it on the gameplay.
Okay, so drop track, um, we're gonna go, we actually may wanna, maybe, wanna make sure that local cancel equals true, false. Um, can, can cancel equals true. Uh, stack place heaps if cancel, if not cancel. Uh, save undo. So if we place something somewhere and it wasn't a cancel thing, then we're gonna save the, the current board state. Wait. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And we have to actually do it before before we do any manipulation. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, but, but now we have a problem because when you're dragging things, the cards already left the position that we're on. So we actually have to save the undo step before we start dragging. And then also, yeah, yeah. So at the start of the drag, we actually have to do it. Here we're gonna save undo. And then we have to do also a kind of like delete undo. Because then if you start dragging and cancel, then it will save subsequent versions. And yeah, and you don't want that. Yeah. If you do something, cancel, then it will remain. Then if you undo, then you will just have the same situation. Okay, good. So Del. I don't think it's it's that complicated. We might not need the extra function for this. We're just gonna go yeah. Del E undo lip, right? Um, so here when we're cancelling, we're gonna go del e undo lib. We not need don't need a function for this, and we can also leave out this cancel variable. All right, so here we're saving the undo and we're starting to drag, um, and then we're undoing. There's only one problem I have, and that is that the cursor might be uh, end up at weird position, but we're gonna figure this out. Uh, and also, when we're dropping in the halo, we also want to make sure that if there's a cancel here, that we also undoing the, the drop. Oh, actually, no, we're gonna do a drop drag zero here, and that will also undo that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. See, it's no problem. Let's try this. Probably gonna be some. Oh, okay, unclosed something. Yeah. Wanna unclose something? Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, there's an undo, but it does nothing. Okay, I will move something around. Oh! That shouldn't be happening. We moved something and dropped it, but it was saved as an undo. So if you trigger it, nothing happens. Okay. okay, well, at least there is just one entry now. Okay, that's okay. Um, so yeah, if we continue doing this, we're just gonna get one entry, that's okay. Uh, okay, now let's, let's do an actual stacking like this. Still just one undo step. Okay, <laughs> and then we're gonna get a bug. Um, first, let's let us fix this one problem. I would love to. 
Oh, oh, one more thing. When we are canceling the undo, we also want to re retract the number of steps. But still, I don't quite understand how we undo step zero and then pick it up and, and now we have one undo step. I don't, I don't like that, that shouldn't be happening. Mm, let me print a number of undos. Okay, um, let me print a hashtag uh, Lib. Mm. Oh yeah, maybe that's not always there. Okay. If undo lib. <laughs> okay, we have zero and we pick it up. Oh, it goes out down to zero. Oh, right, right, it's just not being updated. Okay, that's okay. So this is now it's actually there, and now when we undo, uh, unable to perform an arithmetic on field x a nil value. So I think our card copy doesn't work as intended. Copy card. I see no problem here. Still. No. Maybe that was the problem. 
I don't think so, but okay, let's let's remove the debug. Is nil. There's a card. I'm mean, animating cards. And we have a card where the X is nil. That seems like there's an empty array somewhere. Print CRD. I guess it's a local function, so oh, print, print, CRD, doesn't that work? Oh yeah, oh, CRD is nil? Really? That's not right. Uh, I think it's a, it's a local variable. Yeah, it, it can't be nil. What are we doing here? Animate cards. We're going through all of the heaps. Oh, actually drag should be, should be nil. But again, I don't think that's a problem. Uh, this is really annoying thing to the debug because it's so invisible and we're manipulating so much data. Let's go through this. Um, Right, that that's the right function. Copy card. Let's return the copy. Got it. Bam! Ah! <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, there's one thing I want to do, uh, which is, I think cell H is the variable. Cell H. Yeah, I'm gonna set cell H to false, just in case somebody does undo in a weird spot. What are we undoing? Perfect, oh man, that was a, so the problem was I was setting, <laughs> I was putting all of the, um, the entire undo steps, all of the heaps into one of the uh, array. So the, it was like kind of like, 
instead of having the cards in in the heaps, I had the, an array of heaps in one of the heaps. It's 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 yeah, I, uh, I just got confused a little bit there. But yeah, we got this. And then if we do this. Oh, that shouldn't be happening. Oh, I guess it's possible. I guess it's the same cards. It's, it's weird. Huh. It's, it's weird, right? Because when you do, un oh, now it worked. Okay. Yeah, we have an undo steps. Cool. And undoing beyond past. So yeah, we can we can technically have now infinite undos. I guess at some point we're gonna run out of memory, but uh, if, if that problem comes up, we're gonna see it. I don't think people will have like 32,000 undo steps. <laughs> if, if you are playing the game that long, then I think you're... It's fine if the game crashes when you're playing that game for that long. I don't think that's a practical problem to, to catch. I mean, if you're playing that game for that long, and then and then you reach a kill screen, that's quite an achievement. I, mean, I think you deserve a kill screen for that. Okay, so we did the undo now. We just did it. Uh, and I was thinking about uh, maybe doing a button where you can undo. You know, just like have like a mouse button that you click on. But the thing is like, um, okay, so I, there's multiple ways of doing it. So I just can have an undo button, but then if you have an undo button, then you also should have a, like a menu button. And then you have to replicate the menu that we have here just in, in buttons so you can operate it with a mouse. So that just opens like a whole can of worms if you want to make it operable just by mouse. And I think, I don't think it's viable to use Pico 8 without any kind of button interaction. Because like if you pull up the menu, you still, then you have to use um, keyboard keys to operate this menu, right? So that kind of introduces a kind of like a dual mode setup where you can play the game with a mouse, but if you want to return to the main menu, you have to use the keyboards, and that's kind of like awkward. But I think we cannot really get around this. Also, I think the embed has like a menu button, doesn't doesn't it? Let me just look at it real quick. How was the bus? Um, I stakes itch. Ooh, what, what was that? What is this? Oh, visible only to me. Wow, you can, I can, because I have uh, Google Analytics there, interesting. Yeah, you can, you, there's, you can bring up the menu here, right? It's the same menu? Yeah, that's the same menu. So if you click on pause, you can technically use this, but you can bring up the menu at least. But you still need the, the keys to, to operate this. You cannot use the mouse to operate this. That would be something for um, Zep to address. Although, again, Pico 8 was kind of created for the, for the button operations. I, I will make sure that it's... Uh... Oh man, high stakes is so nice. Who made this game? <laughs> I would argue that undo is a very frequent operation and should deserve a dedicated button. Imagine doing undoing five steps. Uh, there are uh, a lot of um, a lot of solitaire games actually don't have an undo, undo button. Like in um, uh, very famous ones, even like the um, what what is it? The, um, Zektronic Solitaire Collection. Most of the Solitaire uh, games in that game don't have an undo button. So that's my counter argument. And if you have to undo five steps, then maybe you should just reset, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> like with a keyboard, it's not a big deal. Like you just like stack some things, right? Let's like create some undo operations. Okay. 
Okay, now we have six. Undo, 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 undo. It's fine. It's just like if you don't have any keyboard. Like the question is like the only reason to, or one of the main reasons to add a, the undo button would be to allow the mouse users to operate the game entirely using the mouse, not touching the keyboard. But I don't think that's, we're never gonna get that from Pico 8, I feel. Because there's definitely aspects of Pico 8 that absolutely do require the buttons. Um, but we might put it, but I'm gonna be fair and I'm gonna put it as a future problem. Yeah, mouse push button menu, mouse push button for undo. Because again, because if you do the push button for undo, then you also have to put, yeah, if you say A, you also have to B. So uh, if you put a push button for undo, you also wanna push button for go to the main menu and um, restart the level. That like These three buttons would have to also be there. And then you have a whole bunch of buttons on the thing. So maybe you have like a menu button that brings up a custom mouse menu. And then you have to operate the menu with a mouse, but then what if you're using the keyboard? Is the mouse button still there? Then you also have to have the menu be operable with the keyboard and you have basically duplicated the, the enter menu, but with the keyboard and the mouse. <laughs> you just get into like this weird area where you're just doing the same UI over and over again. And then it's like, so if you have that inbuilt menu, then maybe not using the main menu. And then it's like, why are you using it? I think it's, um, I think it would be nice if Zap made sure, uh, made like if because the yeah, but on the other hand, you never know, right? Oh, I don't know. You could m make the argument that if somebody uses the death mode and enables the mouse, that maybe a Zap should enable a mouse button when you pull up the menu, so you, like a mouse cursor that can, you can click and add. Cancel. But then again, maybe not every game that uses the mouse actually has a mouse cursor, right? So, oh man, it's, it's, it's tough. It's a tough situation. I'm just gonna not do anything and wait it out. And if just people who are like, oh man, I'm using a mouse, I really need an undo button, then I can still add one. Oh, that's, that's a nice next, next step that I wanna be doing. I want to upgrade the connectors. These bad boys. So I'm gonna flag which um, which ones are problematic. This is a problematic connector. Uh, and the wavy connector is a problematic connector. Let me. We have to up oops, update or replace them. So this one is bad, this one is bad. So like, like half of the connectors we need to update. And the problem is that they are there, they look fine, but they are um, a bit ambiguous in terms of um, how they connect. If you put the mouse in the, in the mode where the buttons are translated to BTNs, does that affect it? Uh, I don't think... Like, I cannot do that uh, for... Yeah, I cannot do that for uh, for the menu, because once you pull up the menu, the execution of the program stops, and it's, you know, Pico 8 takes, takes care of that aspect. That's something that, uh, that Zap would have to do. Right, so here is something that I want to show you guys. So this is something that the Gecko did, um, which are kind of like suggestions on what kind of connections you could do. Uh, and I like some of them. So I'm pretty sure he will be okay if he would be okay with me copying some of them. <laughs> some of them are fine, like this is a butt. 
And I don't even know, I don't want to even interpret what this is. If you know what I'm saying. Again, family friendly. Family friendly show. So let's think about, I do like this guy. It's kind of similar to the wavy line we have, but it, it adds the, it adds the, the asymmetric, asymmetry, as asymmetrical thing. So I kind of like that one. So I also had a double, double thing also previously. So that might be also a good one. Maybe a good one for the, for the, for these guys. I do not like the ones where the yin yang kind of style where the shape is, is detached because I don't know, that doesn't seem right to me. I'm so glad you said something because I thought the same thing. <laughs> is, is that a, is that a, should I say it? Let's, let's just run with it for now. Let's see what happens. Um, the only problem is that, yeah, this is a bit too deep. Because as you see, with all of the connections, they are just two pixels deep, and this is a three pixel deep connection. We don't have connections to which are three pixels deep. And I did that because I don't like, oops, I don't like, um, no, that's the wrong one. I want to keep that around. We want to fix the pink ones. Um, Like from the sh most shallow to the, but I guess we we can we can make it work. Let let's try that. Uh, okay, so something like this, and then I guess yeah. So we would have to do something like this, right? Uh, I don't like that so much. Could go like this. Yeah, but that's what we basically had right now. I mean, it could be like asymmetrical in this regard, right? Just flat. this yeah but this gets into the same problem that now we have like this wavy line again and we maybe don't want that wavy line so just like this might be easier to, to figure out or oh yeah yeah uh, something we could also do is something like Something like this. Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, that's very complicated now. So let's just keep it simple for now. Let's see how that looks. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah, so see now, now it's very clear how these things clump together. We could even make it a bit wider. But then there's a danger of them getting confused because there's also this. 
So oh, one way of solving this is just make it go the other way around. So like this is gonna be here. Like this. And this is gonna be here. Like this. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure about that, to be honest. What about this? Uh, it's a bit too complicated, I feel. I want them to be kind of like simple, visually simple. Let's keep that for now. Let's just like a little wave. Let's continue. Um, I do like this kind of. We can maybe try something like this. So, so it's kind of like very clear, you know. Um, because right now we have like this, these multiple prongs and they're all symmetrical. But if we make it just like one or two prongs on one side. And on the other side, yeah, something like this. We could make it. We don't have to even have make it non-symmetrical. It's fine to just make it like this, right? Let's make multiple ones. If we make multiple ones, then we get into troubles, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, a little bit. Um, but we, we can, again, we solve those troubles by making some of the prongs shorter, maybe. We can make them shorter in the center. Goodbye, smelly fish sticks. Yeah, I think that's a good redesign. I think it's a bit clearer now. Because it's like four prongs on one side and five prongs on the other side, you know? This is this is a very different design. And you wouldn't think that that these these will belong together. Yeah. That's okay, that's better. Um, and now the only thing that's left is this one. I kind of like this one as well. But again, uh, that might be one where it's ambiguous whether it's left or right. Let's try that. Maybe just tilt it. Yeah, just like a slope. Um, no, but the slope would also be ambiguous. any issues with the order like if it's sideways and the hook is going down yeah and then because it's symmetrical you might confuse this so we break the symmetry by making one hook larger than the other one mm, 
now now they belong better together. And now it's not ambiguous at all. It's very clear how they belong together. I think there should be at least one with like an inverted spike, like the first two image, to maybe actual jigsaw puzzles. Yeah, the problem is like we have only two um, two pixels, so it's difficult to um, I, we can design like a, a secret seventh one that we we maybe use later on. Because that's something I also thought about, maybe to make it the game diff more difficult to just add more cards to the loop. Um, okay, so the challenge is we have just two pixels, right? So if I make something that looks like a puzzle, that would like a mushroom, basically, right? So you would have to do something like this, and then this on the other side. That's the best I can do. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, 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 I had designs like this before. I, I, this is too, too. This looks too fragile. This just looks like a tiny little mushroom. So I definitely would want to have it wider. But then there's maybe a, a possibility of confusing this with this. Because this would technically fit into this. <laughs> um, I don't know. I kind of like made this based on... We can just leave it around and we can see what, what happens. Does the third line have to be sort of... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to keep it like this. It's just like a rule I want to set to me. Because once you start adding more lines, um, the shapes kind of take over. The, uh, the puzzle pieces become more dominant. Um, and starts defining, you know, what what the piece looks like. And like here, you would have to actually have two lines because if you have like a mushroom, right? Oops. Uh, to create like the puzzle piece, you would need the, the the stem, and then you still want to have something round on the other side. So this would be something like a puzzle piece, right? Because you want to have the the neck and and but then the bulge, right? Because like this is kind of like doesn't seem right. This uh, it's, it's, it's 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 squished, and and it's we're just not gonna get that. This is just like too uh, too pronounced. And this is kind of like a very unsatisfactory middle solution. I can replace it just to, to see how that looks. So we would do something like this, right? Yeah, but I, I actually cannot do that. <laughs> I would have to actually change the way they intersect. Yeah, I cannot actually do that. With the, the code I have right now, we do have to change the code. side is the upper side okay so we need oh, so we kind of changed the way this works we said I'm not sure if this is actually that different from what we had before um, we're gonna just see if there's any confusion while we play it because right now we change things up anyway so maybe I think it's different now. I think this is this is clearer now because some of the spikes are shallower, and 
I think we didn't quite have that. Um, this is definitely different. And I think that's that's definitely an improvement. So <laughs> actually it's just like <laughs> just like a tiny little change. Like this, right? Ah oh, no no no. Yeah as well. This is the same, and then this is has the hook. So like this, this and this, and then on the bottom. this yeah yay I like the idea of the mushroom and it enable uh, enables you to make more crazy shapes embedded feeling XD second is wrong not too intense what oh yeah second is wrong yeah thanks it's completely wrong No, that's not good. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, that's better. This is correct. Okay, so let's let's make them connect. That looks good. Let's make them connect here. Yeah, that's connected as expected. Again, this makes sense. Let's put one here. Let's put one here. Again, this connects as expected. And this, oh, we didn't, didn't see the last one. Let's me try the last one again. Yeah, and this connects as expected. Now we have like one with with just spikes and the other one seems like it has just indents and so uh, just the holes yeah that looks i think that looks better than what we had before previously i think it was a bit ambiguous they were both kind of like similar yeah i don't i don't have any yeah okay that's good Although, now that I'm thinking, I, if we make a, like a really wide boy, something like this, something like this, that might also work. That might also work. Let's try that. It's kind of like the same as the hook, but it's, it's symmetrical. So it kind of looks a bit nicer. There's no mistaking of this with this. And there's no also no mistaking yeah. I kinda like that. Let's let's keep let's try to keep using this. goal for today is definitely creating a version that I can send over to uh, Gruber Music so they can play it and they can figure out what they like and don't like about the game uh, and like adjust the uh, volumes. Okay guys I'm gonna grab something to drink I'll be right back and we can continue this beautiful journey. What? 
I have it the wrong way around. I do. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh well. Hmm. Like this? This is correct, right? Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure that these are off to the side so we are clear that they're not part of the process. They're kind of like um, temporary. the different um, different um, different puzzle pieces have like more of a character now like especially like this piece is very spiky because it left a sharp corner here and then looks very fast but this is like a very square piece this would be a more rounded piece if this had to, <laughs> this this thing at the bottom maybe we should move them around uh, then this would be the square piece oh that like, might be actually fun Let's move them around. <laughs> uh, we have to change the order, right? No, wait, wait, what was the order? Yeah, so... This and this. So we want to, yeah, we want to switch the, the these two, we want to switch the places with, with these two. So let's this. Copy. Spiky, square piece, <laughs> round piece. I guess this is still a bit of a unknown quantity, but this is definitely a very round piece. With a one bulge on one end and another bulge on the other end. <laughs> This looks like a weight on a scale, a little bit, or like a table. Yeah, that's cool. Screen, screen design. <laughs> screen, screen design. Right, we're moving on to the halo. Halo clear juice, level ending juice, cards fly into the halo juice, halo dots, question mark. This is a bit of a difficult thing. Because... Um, if the halo is going to animate when you do when you clear it, um, there is some cards underneath already, right? There is some code underneath of the cards. So there, there's two ways of doing this. So there's going to be some animation. The halo will maybe spin quicker and then poof, disappear or something like this. Um, we can do that. But, um, okay, so in the moment we drag the cards in and uh, release them, what will happen is the board state will be changed, right? Like we're gonna drop something into the halo, the, the, all the cards from the halo are on top of the halo array are actually deleted. And that's why the halo is then empty. 
But what we want instead now is the the halo to the Carson halo to remain for a couple of seconds to do the animation, right? And then to be deleted. Um, and I don't like that. I don't like how we um, maintain kind of like a bad board state for a while, and then uh, you know execute gameplay stuff based on an animation. That I, that's always a bad thing to happen if there's an animation that has to be played and then the board state changes. That's that's an awkward situation to be in because you're driving the board state with some kind of aesthetic stuff. Um, so for example what happens then if somebody undoes during that they, that will maybe screw up the animation or the animation will start manipulating board state that wasn't there before you know like so we would have to like disable the undo during that and it's like this whole problem. So I think a good solution would be to create like a second halo, basically. Like a duplicate halo, and that halo will run through its animation and do its stuff. But the real halo underneath will be already empty. There's like two halos, fake halo, real halo, is what I'm saying. And that way, you know, while the animation playing, you can already start selecting other cards possibly and dropping them in the halo. It doesn't matter because the the real halo is already empty and the game um, state has been changed. There is just something happening. There's animation running and it's doing its own thing, but it's kind of separate from the game state. I kind of want to separate the game state from the animation. I think that's I think that's a good idea. The other way is, as I said, like to make it both. Um, 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 linked to each other, and again, that's, that can cause, cause some troubles. But these are kind of like very vague ideas that I have. Yeah, I don't know. Music has stopped. Also, oh, we we are <laughs> running through those tokens. Just three thousand tokens left. Well, but again, there's just not much to do. Just a bunch of bunch of juicy stuff and a tutorial. Yeah, just a bunch of juice. Left. <laughs> Let's me, let me look at how we're drawing the actual halo. should start using more the alt up and down. Yeah, here's. So we're drawing the heaps, that's okay. We're drawing the back of the halo. We're drawing the girl. And then we draw, wait. Oh yeah, we're drawing the back of the halo, yeah. What is this? That, that's, we don't need that anymore. That's some vestigial. See, and, and we already see that it's kind of like not that difficult because we already have the halo function, draw halo function. And here we could just like supplement another variable that just tells, you know, from which line in the sprite sheet we're getting the halo, right? So we could, we could have like a real halo and a fake halo, and then we're gonna switch from the real halo to the fake halo. Um, just another, okay, prep halo, that's that's where we're preparing, that we're actually drawing the halo to the sprite sheet. And animating it. 
yeah, yeah, we're animating. We, because we don't actually animate the halo in update function. We animate it in the draw function. Which is okay. Yeah, here we just do button interaction. And yeah, here is this like pure, pure gameplay interaction. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just I was thinking a little bit. I'm saying kick. What are you thinking about? Okay, so let's do some simple steps. Um, is, wait, do we have... Okay, level ending juice would also mean a level ending um, card. Um, Halo, so okay, so let's let's do Halo clear juice. Um, let's go like a, let's create like a roadmap to work because I have some some vague idea of where we're going. Okay, so first of all, keep Halo around for a sec. Just a, I just want to, after we clear the halo, I want to just keep it around for a second before we do anything else. Second step is... Speed a halo up. So that any halo is kind of like the fake halo, or you could call it phalo. <laughs> fake halo. <laughs> Speed Phalo up. Um, so after you drag it in, the halo starts turning faster and faster, and then it disappears. And then change Phalo radius. And I want to actually to shrink it maybe. And then I, the idea is that it shrinks into a ball. Mm. Make rotating balls. Or let's call it spinny balls. Um, and then make halo. Change uh, fatal. Fatal change to ball. And then maybe another thing is particles. So this is kind of like a roadmap. Let's let's try that. Um, in order to do that, I actually want to um, because I don't want to end the level immediately, um, because that adds another complexity. Because once the final halo is done, then we start the level ending sequence, and that's kind of like a whole other challenge. I want the um, halo juice um, 
for the in between halos to, to be done first and then we're gonna f f figure out how that fits into the level ending juice oh man i kind of don't like that we're doing it right now because i again i wanted to send this version to to our boy you know let's let's make let's make make it a safe here um I, uh, let's do debug um i had it i saw it there um we're gonna save this and we're actually gonna make a copy of this um this shapes version so i can set it to gruber music Um, and meanwhile, we're going to continue because right now we're going to start messing things up and then they will break and then that's not going to be good, not going to be good. Um, Before, um, by the way, I also want to erase save data. Okay, it works when I erase the save data. Good. Um, ba 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 bu ba bu ba bi ba bu. When I start the game and randomize the deck, I want to actually add another copy of the card. Just like a final card that is just like a copy of a card that exists um, that I just So when we finish the Halo, it's not going to be game over immediately. What? There clearly is connection. What is happening? Oh, wow. Did, I, did we fix, mess something up? I think we messed something up. Oh yeah, I think I think we did. Is that because of the card or because we changed the graphics? Hey. Oh yeah, I think we messed it up. mess it up <laughs> interesting uh, so yeah this is, this is good what's the duplicate where's the duplicate card okay yeah yeah okay it was it, it was broken interesting oh no actually see this should be connecting it's so weird oh that was okay what Oh, I think I know what the problem is. Uh, we changed the order of the connections up here, but we didn't update it down there. <laughs> Somebody was maybe screaming this in the chat. No, what are you doing? No. Let's undo everything. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm very confused. I was such a confused man today. Ah, copy. Yeah, that should get you. this should do it. Okay, see now there's a, still one piece left, so so that's good. By the way, we can also maybe remove draw uh, game. We don't need the reminder that this is the game anymore. I think that's okay. New pieces, cool to see. Um, are these from the Discord? I, they are inspired by the Discord. Uh, I updated like, I think three connections. I couldn't um, implement these from the Discord because, um, um, because they weren't quite playing according to the rules that I set up to myself. Uh, but it definitely helped. Um, okay, so far so good. Now I want to, again, I want to create a situation where if the Halo is finished, then we're gonna set. We're gonna kind of set a destination halo, uh, like a. Okay, we're gonna have halo. We're gonna have halo. And we are gonna have. Okay, then then things are actually quite quite simple. Um, Yeah, then that's actually really simple now. Um, we're gonna go gameplay. Halo equals Halo, and Halo equals nothing. Uh, we do want to add them. Oh no, no, that's okay. Yeah, okay, that's good. Halo, because Halo, Halo. And now things are kind of easy because then we can go like uh, when we draw, when we prepare, prep Halo. This is where we're actually getting cards from the Halo. So we can go like local HL equals. Halo, if um, hashtag Halo is greater than zero, if any, there's anything in the Halo, then FL equal uh, F HL equals Halo. Um, we can even be do it like a ternary if Halo. Greater than then and phalo or halo turn the array right and then here instead of grabbing things from the halo we're just gonna get it from whatever
not what I thought it would happen. Ah. Oh, no. Okay. Right, so now do we have like the fake halo? And we can go like F, fail or T, fail a lot. <laughs> fail a lot. And we're gonna set to zero. We're gonna put the animation in here, although that's technically maybe wrong, but okay. If hashtag Failo is greater than zero. And then make Halo. Um, then and failot plus equals one. And if fail failot equals 60 then or equals or greater than 60 then and failot equals null it's null and then failo equals so we're gonna keep the halo around for one minute uh, one second and then we're gonna make it disappear That's what we want. Okay, um, so we finished the step number one. Keep Halo around for a second. Okay, that's good. So now I want the Phalo to be going faster. And I wanna see how that looks. I want to maybe tap into this halo uh, prep halo function maybe because right now I'm drawing and animating at the same time the prep halo here uh, but it might be worthwhile doing this into update function So we have halo. We have lots of. What are these these doing? We should we should figure out what are what all the halo variables are doing. We don't. It's been a while since we do, done it, so we forgot. But um, let's label them so we know generally what we're working with. So we have halo. We have halo. Okay. We have halo x, halo y. That makes sense. Not sure why halo x, uh, x is zero. That kind of doesn't make sense. Um, we have, okay, we have Y and, okay, Halo R is also zero, and DR is also, I think that's rotation. Yeah, that's rotation. Uh, and Halo T, if we have also have Halo T, so what's this? Halo rotation. Halo destination. Um, that's, we don't know what this is. Okay, we don't need to label those. We know what these are. Y, test Y. Uh, 
Um, do we ever change Halo X? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was, I think. What is Halo T? Where, where are we using Halo T? Oh, that's just like a time. What is Halo T? Just use it here. We never use it anywhere else. Oh, I think it's just like a timer. Oh yeah, that's a timer to uh, make the halo just continue animating. Um, hello, uh, timer for rotation. And Halo X, what about Halo X? I think you substitute a time call with this variable to have more control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can reset it to zero. I couldn't, couldn't do that with, um, again, there's just one position where we changing this and if that's here I think that was this thing where uh, you can attach things to the front or to the back of the halo I think that was this thing hey master cut how are you um and I think we should make sure that when we clear the halo, that we reset halo x to zero. That's an odd opportunity to reset it to zero. Um, off, offset for front and attach, attach. It was kind of like this offset where you, if you connect things to the bottom of the halo line, then obviously extend it to the one side, but if you're connected to the front, you didn't want the entire thing to jerk. And to get rid of that jerk, jerk we got halo X. We should probably get rid of this um, eventually. When it's rotating, right? Yeah. And this is just. Yeah, this one is not rotating. You know, yesterday I played Cherry Bomb for the first time, and then I saw your logo, so I knew you made it. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you for playing, Kiki. I'm glad you played it. I think my high score was 71,000 ish. That seems good. I, to be honest, <laughs> I haven't been following the current high scores.
Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so let us get get this out. Because this seems to me like the Halo animation. Let's get this out. Halo. Normal Halo. Um. Okay, so this is um, center center texture. Uh, rotating halo. This is rotate normally, and this is stop rotation on drag. Animate rotation. Yep, that makes sense. You got McDonald's today, that's good. Well, I don't know when when was the last time where you were here. That's the cat. When which which day was that? Okay. Like two day ish ago or something. I remember you only had a static image of a woman on the screen. That. Oh, um, that that was us working on just a woman. That was like a side project. We always had this game, like we had the game pretty long, but I was make, making the one for the game. So now we had the animation finished and we brought them back into the game and I'm working on the game now. Okay, this is good. Something like this. Um, so we probably want also to reset Halo T uh, because kind of like as we as, so everything is just reset. Um, this is um, how's the game work. This is a, a solitaire kind of game. Uh, let me figure this out real quick because I'm working on a thing here. Okay, so we're basically we do need this. I think we need the Halo R. And we definitely need this. Yeah, we need to, we don't need a DR. We just need to we just need the R. And we center the texture. Now we okay, this is the timer. We, we definitely keep the timer around for timing reasons. I'm gonna go Halo R as this. Um, 
halo r equals plus plus equals halo t and then halo t is this so but we're gonna make it spin faster for now just like uh, static in a static fashion Not sure if you're referring to the solitaire, the card game, or solitaire, the single player experience. Uh, uh, I'm referring to the card game. I am referring to the card game. <laughs> I want a steady increase though. It was a bit sudden. I yeah, that, that felt that felt nice. Um Failo, failo speed. Uh, so yeah, gotta make a circle piece of it. Yeah, that's that's the idea. That is the idea. I am currently working on a animation of the halo when the halo is completed. Uh, 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 uh. I'm trying to make a nice animation here. And I'm trying to judge kind of the speed at how quickly we want this halo to spin up. a bit too fast. I want the animation to be kind of like, I want to see the speed up happening. And right now it's just like twirling away very quickly and we don't really ap appreciate this animation. We might speed it up later on when we get sick of it, but right now I don't want to see it. Mm, what is this? What is this? What is this? Yeah, that was better. Uh, this is Hyrule, Hyrule Castle 2. I'm not sure from which game. Uh, Breath of the Wild. I vaguely remember it. See, that was too slow. I like how I'm constantly being stumped by this by this test level. <laughs> 
Okay, so let me wait for longer then. Oh yeah, that's good. Wait, how does the half circle connect to the offset in circle? How do you mean? Half circle? This little little circle. They do not connect. It's, it goes like this. There's just like <laughs> we have two circles on both sides. We have like the big circle and the small circle. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's kind of like okay. You, you, it doesn't actually doesn't matter. <laughs> they both connect. You know, <laughs> any any kind of circle shape connects into this shape or reverse circle shape. I kind of like the speed up here. That that felt like significant speed up. So maybe ne next thing I want to do, maybe something that would be cool is if the in the moment of in the moment of when it hits the halo makes a, a slap goes down a little bit and then like, poof, and then bounces up and then gets smaller and then turns into a ball and the ball falls down and again like to, like a like a, with a kinetic situation. Um, Failot, why? Actually, we don't need to define this here. So, like minus ten, or let's let's go minus one, and I just want to see see the halo animated down down. Um, halo y plus equals failot uh, failot y speed halo y equals zero right do we change the halo y somewhere Oh yeah, we do move the halo. Um, you know, in this case, okay, let's do it like a failot y. And when we draw the halo, we do a, The reason being here that I want to... <clears throat> there is a position at which the halo is supposed to be and that position changes all the time. So we don't want it animating that variable. We want to have like an additional variable at, at the top of it. So once we are through with the animation, the next halo returns to where it's supposed to go and we don't have to figure it out. Read me suggestion. Uh, um, maybe you want to see the speed up by try making it the halo slightly spin in the opposite direction and make its speed fast in the original direction. Yeah, maybe. Like to so it winds up a little bit. Worth thinking about. 
let me let me add this animation because there's going to be a lot happening at the same time and i don't i don't think like um i think there's a trap that you can get into where um uh, you come up with one idea for for something to make something juicy and interesting like an, one animation idea and you just keep tweaking it this one idea um, but juiciness or any kind of like fun animations are usually uh, a combination of multiple ideas layered on top of each other um, and it's it can get be easy to fall into a trap where you're just like trying to optimize one thing and it just like doesn't seem so exciting um, and you would probably better off to just like do something that's good enough and then concentrate on adding layering the stuff and once it starts layered in you can try to um, to maximize you know the the fun there and i really want i definitely want the hair to move vertically so i want to maybe concentrate on that at first I don't need to draw the sprite sheet. Where's the sprite sheet? Where, where am I drawing this? again I want to see it again <laughs> um, that is tears of the kingdom from the breath of the wild as well um, so let's do something like this girl returning from space when did she go away in the first place oh is the girl tied to the halo i think the girl is oh i think she's tied to the halo huh no Oh, it's probably here. Do we have a Tejedo DX? Oh, we just don't, don't reset the Halo X. No, no, the Halo X is good. Wait, 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 Halo X is good. Halo Y, we don't reset the Halo Y.
Yeah, that's really nice. I like, like how it goes over the shoulders. So now, once it, when it's going up, I want to make it smaller and then turn it into a ball and then the ball falls down again. That's my idea. Uh, and for that, I want to be, I need to be able to change the size of the halo. See how to draw one. So let's see what our to-do stuff is doing. Uh, speed up halo. Okay, we kind of have that. We also make it up and down. We we didn't have to do that, but uh, we discovered that we have to do it. Um, change halo radius. Yeah, that's that's the next part. So when you're drawing the halo. So this is, this is what we're working with, 16 and 112, and 96 is the width of the halo, right? So let us put in another <laughs> variable. Halo W is 96. 96. <laughs> Emperor Palpatine always with his 90s. Uh, let's actually make it Halo. Yeah, let's make it half. Yes, yeah, make it half. So 96 is 96 divided by 2. It will help us. Well, we don't have to. It's, 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 it's fine. Let's just let's make it 96. By the way, uh, my wife and my daughter are coming back soon. Just want to make sure that they're not at the door. Well, they're not far away. So we're probably better we're gonna end the stream soon. Okay, it's kind of an awkward situation that we're in right now. I, I don't like this. Um, So we have to stop here. Um, as again, um, we there's not going to be a stream this evening because uh, again I take care of my daughter and also tomorrow there's not going to be a stream probably, probably um, on Sunday morning, very very early morning probably just going to be a stream. Uh, I will um, keep you posted down in the um, not in the Discord. So if you want to know when things are happening, here is my Discord, and you can join the Discord and find out when things are happening. Thank you again for joining me for for this this morning. Uh, we did some progress in the Halo stuff. I think um, this is kind of like a very difficult part, and I was kind of dreading it a little bit. But now that I'm in, into it uh, and in the thick of it, uh, I kind of like it, it's it's fun. I think it's fun to add new elements to this. So so yeah, this is cool. Again, thank you so much for joining, and uh, yeah, see you on Sunday. All right, all right, bye bye. Hello, <laughs>